well hello there and welcome back to my channel i hope you're well and having a fantastic day whatever you are doing for those of you who are new to my channel welcome i see i have gained some more new subscribers it's so nice getting new subscribers none of the old ones is anything wrong with you guys you are the you are you're my g you know so don't get excited <laughs> i'm only kidding jackson What are you doing? I know you're doing something naughty when you give me that face. All right, what? You gonna say hello? Let me grab the camera so you can say hello. Don't, don't make it a long hello, make it a short hello, okay? Where are you? Oi, say hello. Say hi, hi everybody. You're not trying to get to my bin, are you? No? Can't go into my bin, all right. All right, guys, so today's video is um, the Ribbon Star. So this is the third edition or the third star to our sample star quilt along. I'm going to show it to you. Jackson, you little snake out. Right now, get going. Quickly, I can't turn my back for one minute. Don't go in my bin, because you just make mess for me. So I'll show it to you. This is what it looks like. So this is your ribbon star, okay? Beautiful, simplistic. Please don't be alarmed by the amount of uh, by the amount of um, squares that you've put together. It's really easy. I've really taken it through step by step. I've broken it down. I've slowed it down. You know, she just showed the camera again. I can only apologize for my dog. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but it's really easy. As I said, it's beautiful. Now, notice the colors that I've used. So, try to emulate the colors um, in not the same colors but in terms of how i've used the color the colors within the pattern is what i'm referring to okay so the, just i'll give you all the details in the pattern please note that the pattern will not have the step-by-step -step instructions because i've already done that in the video the pattern will give you the sizes which i think is fair otherwise it's just too much work for me to to do all that each week um okay and also i do want to say though that some of you and uh, when you when you download a pattern please note that where whatever device you're on it will download it immediately it does not necessarily send you an email it will just download it to the device so it's really up to you to um to find out where it's downloaded to so for example if it's on a, if you're on the laptop it will down it will be in your download section okay if you're on an ipad it will probably be in your note section all right um if you're on a phone it will be on your note section as well okay um but you can always email me do know that i'm in australia i'm a, a 12 or so hours ahead of you so um if you do email me it will take a time most of the times when you email me i'm sleeping <laughs> all right so hence the reason why i will not respond immediately or if you do a chat on the website i am most likely sleeping so i probably wouldn't see it um the very early next morning all right so just bear that in mind it's not that i'm ignoring you just know to that i'm 12 hours ahead of you all right um so that's it any questions jot them down below I think it's a really beautiful block um, I love the movement in it so take your time have a go at it and let me know how you what you think so bye for now or oh, before I go um, someone by then uh, I'm not gonna tell them I've, I've said it in the video already so I don't want to say it again but someone sent me a uh, subscriber sent me and um, some fabric and I'll show that with you in the next slide all right so I'll see you on Saturday because I've got a beautiful quilt to share with you. So bye for now. Happy quilting. And once again, welcome to my new subscribers and my new channel members. So if you'd like to become a channel member, all you need to do is hit join down below. Do note though that once 
the sampler quilt is done properly I will compile a, um, a proper um, pattern and I will give that to my um, mem channel members um, because literally those are the things they sort of pay for and channel members again if you have any questions you can Facebook me on messages all right so that's most likely my husband texting me so let me see what he wants <laughs> I'll see you in the next one guys bye hi everybody I just really wanted to share with you how much um, fabric that Minnie has just sent me Minnie called me sorry wrote me an email and told me that um, a friend of hers had just closed down a fabric store and she wanted to share with me and so she sent me some fabrics and they are really really beautiful a few of them is by Riley Blake forgive me if I sound funny I've got the flu really badly but I just wanted to quickly jump on and just say hello and um, let me know how grateful I am that she's blessed me with these these are Riley Blake designs quilt labels look at them they're lovely aren't they I didn't know they do them like this this is so nice I've not seen it here in Australia nor have I seen it in the UK at all but this is really beautiful but the fabrics are just gorgeous I love this I'm going to use this one in a quilt literally because I needed blue fabric and I was like I ran out so and then I saw this one and I love this one this one is material girl mm, this is another one by Riley Blake really beautiful fabrics right it's so beautiful I'm really really this one is by Michael Miller I don't know if you can see the name there but absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much Minnie for blessing me I really appreciate it absolutely beautiful this one is by Quilting Treasures it's upside down by Quilting Treasures so absolutely gorgeous really beautiful there you go and the last one here is by Andover Fabrics so I think it's at least 10 I didn't count them I could be could be less I think they're about two meters or two yards. I think it's about two two yards. So, thank you. Okay, as usual, we're going to start with ironing our fat quarters. Today, we'll be making a block that requires a little bit more cutting than the usual ones. Um, it's going to come up to um, twelve and a half inch square. I am still using my same fat quarter bundle that I started with which is the flutter fabric bundle it has lots of beautiful colors I think it was um, I think 8 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah so 10 fat quarter bundle I got it from my um, local quilt store I say local but it's spotlight you if you've been watching the channel enough you would know when I say spotlight and all the Australians would know so uh, I usually get my fabrics from there to be honest from spotlight um, because I love their store I can, I can spend hours in that store to be honest absolute hours without question but I'm always on a time limit because every time I go Carl is with me and he stands there with his um, gets his phone out and he just waits patiently <laughs> but at the same time I know I am on a time limit um, my husband and I tend to do everything together so um, the only time I think I've been there on my own is when I've when he's been at work and I, I left him on my own and then I spend end up spending hours in there because there's so many items you know you've got homeware you've got decorating you've got fabric you've got so many other craft that's involved in that particular store so quite a lot all right so I'll be using these three colors I may add another color I'm not sure yet but I'm also going to be using the same background color of the white with um, some pink florals which I used first of all for the sunray block so I'm going to try and keep it 
consistent throughout as i said i'm using the, the flutter fabric bundle so i think it will be enough for the um for the quilt however i will also use some scraps let me just bring the quilt block back in just to repeat so the four patches here were scraps all right so this is the background color i'm working with and this is the flutter um fat quarter which is the blue star all right so that's what i'm saying so i will if needed bring in some scraps that um works in favor with the fat quarter all right so that's the whole idea of using the scraps so just make it do with whatever you have don't you know try to reuse sorry um go and buy anything new just just use what you have as long as the fabrics coordinate and when i use the word coordinate as long as there's hint of color within the fabrics you're using then you're good to go right just make sure when you're using for the star legs that it can pop quite easily so this is some leftover two and a half inch strips which is what i need also for the um for the block so i'm just going to reuse this so i'm going to start doing the cut again i will put all the details um for you so you don't have to worry about writing anything down
all right so all of the cuts has been allocated now so we're going to make the ribbon star and the idea here is to start with the center star of course sorry center block and get your star legs and then we're going to use these um, strips here to sort of mirror the color pattern so that way it looks like a ribbon but let's see if we achieve it so starting with your center block we're then going to add oh let me not mix that up because then I'll get myself confused we started with our two inches or two and a half inches strips and all I'm going to do is mirror them on each side so I would I would say definitely do it this way so that you don't get confused now don't worry when you lay it out like this if you feel that it's not measuring to the width of the square that is not the objective here because once we sew it together with the seam allowance it will fit so don't worry about that okay this this is your un cut sort of measurements here so in, so hopefully you can see that sort of mirror image with the color there and we're going to do the same on the other side so I'm going to put my orange there <clears throat> my orange there and I'm going to work with purple these flutter fabrics are absolutely beautiful the colors alone is just amazing so that's your first start to lay out I think that the it's a good idea to lay it out so that that way you can see it sort of formulate in, in sort of grow <laughs> in front of you now with these squares except the these ones here the bigger ones so we have two two and a half inches we got two inches and two and a half what we need to do is to simply um, mark to the back of them so from point to point so we're, we're literally going to be using the stitch and flip method for this all right um so the stitch and flip method is is literally stitch onto where you want the smaller two and a half inch squares to go and then you trim it off so i'm going to go ahead and mark all of this i mean if you are confident to find the middle from point to point on your sewing machine you can um, to be honest I do do that sometimes and I tend to sort of hit it on the mark I guess because I've been doing it for a while but if you're unsure and to give it you know just to boost yourself just mark it it costs nothing to do that to be honest when I first started I will mark them but as time goes on you do get a little bit more um, risky <laughs> you know so mark all of them and then I'm going to come back and show you now for demonstration purposes I will mark all of them because the, at the end of the day this is to show you how to make the box properly and so that you're aware of what to do so I'm going to finish this off otherwise I'll use up too much camera space and then I will be back all right so we're moving on to the next stage now so i've done some little design here but i will explain so don't worry about it so let's go back to where we first started and that way um, you won't get confused all right so i've laid out my initial starting of making the ribbon quilt so orange purple orange purple orange purple orange followed by purple followed by the yellow square individual star in the middle right of course all of the sizes will be down there but be using our rectangles with the square all right so these are two and a half two and a half two and a half okay all the way around and I will take pictures just to ensure that you know what you're doing now the next stage now is to as I said was to initially use a, a, a heat erasable pen and mark all of your two and a half inch squares and your two inches square so these are the two inches the two and a half and of course these ones here are also two inches okay now as I said we're going to be using the stitch and flip method and in this in this case here we're going to use the smaller two and a half inch squares to make our star legs all right so so the stitch and flip method is to take one of these and we're simply going to line it up whereby we can see the point 
of the marked line from there to there and we're going to sew on that line once we sew on that line we're then going to trim it off and eventually this area here will come down like so all right, I'm going to zoom the camera in a little bit more so that you can actually see that and I'll do it again just to ensure All right, so as I said, so all of these rectangles here will become your star legs. So again, taking one of my yellow scar st scars, <laughs> squares with my line, and I'm going to line it up, <coughs> excuse me, so that the point is there and the point is there. Okay, and the reason why I'm pointing this out is because that's where your drawn line is. If you do it um, in this direction, where the drawn line is, it will be incorrect. We need to ensure that all of the triangles, is, which is what they're going to be, looks the same. So hence the reason why I'm laying it out like this so you can get it. So once you fold it over, you should really see your star legs already appearing. Okay, so if you can see that there, all right, and then the same. So I'm going to do them all so that you get the idea. As long as they they make a V, that's what I always say to my students. As long as it makes a V, then you know you're on the right path. So you do the same, ensuring you can see that V. Let me crease it first. It'll probably be the easiest way to do, rather than try to do like so. Okay, so that's what I need you to do. So just, but obviously you're going to sew on that line, cut it off as I said, and then press it back, all right? But the demonstration here is so that you can understand how to start making the ribbon star. It's, it's very simplistic. As long as you're organized with your cuts, so get all the cuts together, and that way you can see it grow quite easily. So again, making sure that V is made. So for example, like so, it must just mirror each other. That's the most important thing. So once you've sewn on that stitch line, that so that marked line, which is your, um, you will then cut a quarter inch away. All right. So hopefully you're getting the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll come back and show you the first two so that you get an idea of what you need to do. And then I will go ahead and complete the rest and come back and show you sort of the, you know, the rectangles with the star legs already stitched on. But hopefully you're getting the idea. So that is it. So you can see that all of it makes a V and you can literally see that star already popping in the middle, which looks really cute, I must admit. Um, just taking note of the colors I've used here, very bright, vibrant. Um, again, you just be mindful of your colors. Um, I chose the yellow because I want you or the viewer of the quilt to immediately see that star in the middle there okay all right so i'm going to sew this on come back and hopefully you will get the idea we move on to the next stage of highlighting the other sets of star legs all right guys so wanted to highlight uh, what it should look like before you start sewing so notice i have my orange and my purple here and I have it already lined up so that I can sew on that line and flip it over. But more importantly, what I want you to take note of is that how its mirror image 
of each other. It's not this, there's not, it is not um, laid out the same way so that once I fold it back, I will still get that V. Very important, all right, so that you align it properly. Okay, so I'm just going to move that one aside and I am going to just sew on the line so all of the fabric is equated at the bottom there. My um, line is there and I'm going to sew on the line. Now, you can sew directly on the line or you can sew just one thread width. So we know the, the a thread itself is just like hair markers, very, very tiny um, away from that drawn line. The only reason I'm saying that is because if you were to sew it um, a little bit too far on the other side so a little bit I'm just getting the camera shot so a little bit too far on this side okay because we want the stitch line to be on that line or just slightly slightly um, over so that once we fold it over it measures it nice and equated so it must come back to that original corner there so nice and even if you were to sew it a little bit too short what will tend to happen is that it may come up short like so and you don't want that yeah I hope I hope you get any idea and um, you know and um, so you, you want it to be right down to the end there so it doesn't show the purple doesn't show and it's not so much about the purple it's more about making sure that bottom line here that that cut is straight again that's what it's about so when you add the yellow on top just make sure that even if you decide to sew or you, you make a mistake and you sew a little bit um, further away on this side before you cut it fold it over just to make sure it comes back nice and straight at the bottom there Let's have a look at these two and see what it's like. So that is it there. So hopefully you can make that out. So I'm using gray thread. Okay. So what I'm going to do now before I cut, I am just going to fold it over just to make sure. And that looks fine to me. I'm happy with that. This one as well. Perfect. This one is better than this one. I'm just going to finger press it. Yeah, I mean, they're both okay, to be honest. They're both okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Remember, we want that V. So I'll continue, and then we'll get them all ready, and I will come back and show you how to place out the star. Okay, so all of the items have been sewn together. I chain piece just to ensure that it went by quickly. Um, as you guys know, I like to do that wherever necessary. So I'm going to just separate. I'm just going to do two, and then that way you will get the idea. I won't talk through all of them. I'll just demonstrate two. So the whole thing is there. So I'm going to snip away this area here. So again, you just put your ruler down and snip away quarter inch. Line up the quarter inch with the marked line on the fabric and just cut okay now you can finger press so use a seam roller and um, mark it out I'll just cut that off there raise that one up mark it yet again <coughs> quarter inch I was looking for my seam roller but I thought it was right behind me but it's not I wonder what I, what have I done with it why did I go into that voice anywho um, all right so so not like that 
Jackson, honestly, can we not please? Can we not, Jackson? Can we not? Moving on to the next stage now. He refused to go out. Nevertheless, you may have to hear him in the background. Okay, so stars is made here. The next objective now is to go to the background squares, and we're going to do the exact same thing. And all we seem to seem to do is then add on the top area now, following the same concept. So again, ensuring that you have that V with the stars. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just place it here just to ensure that you understand. All right, so same thing, stitch and flip method using the same, getting the same V in the middle there and all four of them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead do the same thing, stitch and flip, and then we're going to concentrate on the corners. All right, so I have now stitched all of the stitch and flip for the white two inch, and I've laid them out here. I haven't trimmed them. I wanted to trim it with you. So I have two here to put on this side. So just remember when you realign them that you are again and focusing on the colors so the purple orange purple orange purple orange and so on and so forth around okay and again just to ensure that um, everything is aligned properly you have that V and it's important to do this so that it avoids the mishaps of having to unpick or to make the whole block all over again so just double check before you stitch so notice I have put it back into the position before I cut and I did that also with the yellow ones hopefully you noticed that all right so let's start with this one here um, so again what I am going to cut off is this area here because remember we are going to fold it over because it's stitch and, and, and flip so we've stitched and now we're flipping it all right so I'm just going to cut yet again quarter inch finger press as you do just to ensure it lays flat I mean you can iron but I personally don't like to iron these small pieces because they do tend to um, get distorted so a good finger press or using your um, seam roller will do the job which I still haven't found mm -hmm. all right so I'm gonna trim this one off again mm -hmm. fold it back finger press and like so so this is what we're aiming at okay just to make a uh, Jackson cut it out Jackson is in this mood of just making this purring groaning sound don't know why he does that he does it so loudly as well okay so cut off
remember you cutting off the ends there yeah? you're not cutting on this side you're trimming off the ends line it back up finger press I mean once we have made the whole block then I will um, iron it but for now I just prefer to finger press I think he's stopped now he's settled down he's watching the birds so I think he's moaning that he cannot get them <laughs> all right so let's do the next two All right, so last one is down. Hopefully you'll see the pattern develop. Okay, so that's it. So now you're wondering, well, what's happening with the corners? <coughs> Excuse me. So the remainder of the fabrics, <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's um, continue now. So the remainder of the fabrics now comes in to play so these are my two inches rectangle so that goes there okay and what I'm gonna work with the rectangles first so that you understand so I'm gonna put one up next to the orange okay I'm gonna put the other one down okay then I'm gonna put this one again standing up right and this one is going to be laying down so horizontal and vertical okay so notice again opposite subtract so they look the same make sure you make that out in your head nice and clear so now we're going to go in with the orange strip now again it is still two inches and in coming down here so that goes in there again this one goes in there and again, if you notice, it's the same rhythm, isn't it? It's the same pattern, that horizontal and vertical. And again, you can see it, it opposites each other. It mirrors each other. So it's the same layout, all right? Mm -hmm. And then all is left to add is our two-inch strips. So remember I told you that we needed to draw a line again. So yet again, we're going to get our further last set of star legs okay and these are going to go on there so these are going to go on the two inch strips so we're going to do the stitch and flip method yet again for these ones so you lay them on exactly the way you are going to stitch and flip there and the last two there and there all right so I'm going to go now and sew these on all right I'm, what I am going to do and I would advise you to do the same is to just just take them two at a time so take these two sew them bring it back 
take these two sew them bring it back and then I'll show you how to join it okay so take take two at a time so and then come back all right guys so I've separated the star just so that it's important for you to understand how to literally build it together now <coughs> so I've sewn on the corner units all right I've left one apart so that I can demonstrate how to sew it on or how, how you should understand it all right so I'm just going to put these together for now so these are the stitch and flip that I did here for the two and rectangles all right the important thing here so this is your final square that we're going to add in the important thing here is to ensure that the stitch and flip is folding towards this square I'll say it again ensure that the stitch and flip is folding towards it's folding towards the square all right so when you finish it should look like so all right so you should have sort of an horizontal line going all the way through there all right so once you add in your square you will see that it's going towards okay Jackson who are you barking at Jackson Jackson Oi. Oi. Are you seriously barking at birds? All right, so what we're going to do next is simply trim away the excess as we've done before. And that one as well. So again, you can see that it's both touching the white square all right now to sew this together the next objective is to sew the square and the small um, rectangle together all right so you're going to sew front sides like so and you can see it all lines up properly stitch across there I'm gonna go do that now okay so once it's sewn you put it back in its rightful place and the next one hello you good now the next one sews just like that front sides together okay we'll play in a minute I'm almost done I promise right front sides together and so on all right so we've got one more to sew together which is these two here and that's simple isn't it so you just sew them front sides together and then once you've done that you would really sew it together as a nine patch so I'll sew this together come back pull all the sides in so that you can see how it's supposed to look okay so now that all the components are ready I'm just going to give them a bit of a warm iron I don't want to go too crazy with it and then we will start to build the block There are some few reminder points I want to just remind you of so that you are clear, so that when you do it, you won't get confused. Alright, so first things first, when you are building the block, let's start with the middle. So these, the yellow obviously hit the center yellow, so you can see the star block. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay. And then 
the corner comes in ensuring that you have purple orange purple orange purple orange so that concept continues your white square is in the corner same thing here lines up so you have purple orange purple orange purple orange purple <clears throat> all right and you can see the white along the edge going all the way around that goes in there and that goes in there and that is your ribbon star all right now to sew it together as I said just as normal as a nine patch so these three together then these three and these and then you fold them front sides together as you would normally so I'm going to do that now come back and present the entire block to you all right All right, just wanted to reveal that once you fold, or when I say fold, when you put together, just make sure that you line up these areas here where you can see the pins just to ensure that you get your points met in the middle there. So I'm just going to take the pins out, give it a good old press and have a look at the block with you. I don't think it needs, um, sort of trimming down or anything like that to to shape it up or to make it straight it looks it looks everything looks tidy and straight to me i don't see a problem anywhere there i'm just pressing these out so that the seams lay flat at the back which helps the block essentially once you start quilting to ensure that it sits nice and flat and that's really one of the main reasons for pressing your seams at the back is just to ensure that you know once the quilting happens it's it's, it's lump free so this is the block yeah as i was saying i don't think it needs any um trimming or anything everything looks nice and straight i'm just giving it a good old press i haven't really added any steam and there is no water in the iron so i'm not really bothered about adding it at this point it looks okay but the red is on so i know the iron is hot um and that is it basically this is your ribbon block looks absolutely beautiful really really lovely one thing i love about it is as you look at it it looks like it's twisting and turning but it looks really beautiful all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell and for those of you who are in the quilt along this is a third block so i'll be doing a sample star vintage quilt along um quilt so see you next time on crafty quilting designs and this block measures 12 and a half bye for now happy quilting